The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight we get the week started with the first of four between the Round Rock Express and the San Antonio Missions. So stepping in, Gray Kessinger, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The one two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. In there, a base hit. That the Jeremy. Stepping in now, Jeremy Pena. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Line, but speared on a hop. There's one to Healy for the double play. Ready now, Taylor Jones, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Two out, nobody on. Lays off two and two now. swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike and the inning is over. Into the box now Bryce Terang. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Popped him up. Pena moving to his left. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. In now, Yuanhel Segovia. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. To the left side, but it's well foul. One out, nobody on. This is in the air out to right field. Wren is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Coming to the plate now, Joseph Austin. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Here's another 2 2. A bouncer up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Standing in now, Ryan Healy. Hit down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's a look over to first, and he's back standing. Try again, one, two. Line towards center field. Into the slide, and he comes up with a great catch to end the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jack Mayfield. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And here's a ball hit in the air. Long run for the right fielder, and no one will track it down. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. That is it. 
Digging in. Ronnie Dawson. Ronnie. No score here as we play inning number two. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Strike two taken. A fastball that clips the inside black. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Got him. Striding in, Corey Lee. First two men in the that inning have both gone down the via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any Corey better. Lee. Fouled off. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Ready with another 2 2. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. On to Healy at first, and the side is retired. Last half of the second set to go, and set to go is the third baseman, Lucas Ersig. The 1 1 home. Grounded up the first baseline, fielded cleanly, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Stepping up now, Ronnie Rodriguez. He's sitting just above the banner 300 mark on the season coming into this one. The 1 1. Base hit, line drive into the corner. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he'll pull into second with one away. At the plate, Carlos Leon. And he takes a cold strike, too. To two balls and two strikes now. Rodriguez, the runner at second with one away. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. Count still full, three and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Fastball. Strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger. And there are two away. Drives it out to deep right center field. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. As he arrives at second without a play, as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Batting ninth, the designated hitter, Ooh. Ooh, Leo. Into the box now, Luis Urias. Hit down the line at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Coming to the plate now, Chaz McCormick, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Here's the pitch. Hit hard up the middle, and that'll get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single. The center fielder, number four, Alex. Into the box, McKenna. Alex McKenna. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Oh. Fastball just inside. A runner at first with no outs here. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. Got it, got it. 
So it's striding in Stephen Wren as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Now riding in once again, Gray Kessinger. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. But he's going to wave them. Working for the punch out and the offering. This is skied into short left center. Segovia comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Stepping into the box, Jeremy Pena. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Pena. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. of the inning now and next will be the speed threat Bryce Terang the one two he is swung on and missed strike three so coming to the plate Yohan Hill Segovia 0 for 1 here in the early going into the windup here comes the 2 2 pitch lifted down the line and left and he lays out, but he can't make the play. We'll do it again. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. At the plate, the right Joseph field. Austin, he reached on a single Joseph. in his first try. Austin. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't right connect, field. so he finds himself down one and two now. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, Matt. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Leading off the inning, Taylor Jones, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Here's the one and one pitch. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So now yeah. it'll be the four-hole hitter, Jack Mayfield, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. So he sets him down swinging. Jack Mayfield goes down for out number two in the top half. Rolled slowly to first. Healy picks it up. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Ryan Healy. Now the one and one pitch. It is a fastball down below the knees. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Now batting. In now, Lucas Ersic. Back up the middle. Bare handed for one. On to first, and they get them both. So base is empty now after the double play. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Ronnie Rodriguez. And a changeup that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far. 
that was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. And, ooh, might have thought it was high, but it's a strike three and two now. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact, and he'll get another chance. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Stepping into the box, Corey Lee. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1-1 home. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. At the plate, Chaz now McCormick. Five. One for Select one two. after a single yeah. his first time up. McCormick. Bases are empty, one man out. changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it one and two now man this guy's in a good groove right now seven straight retired he's locked in hit weekly back to the mound throw gets him two down digging in Alex McKenna reached base via the wall in his first plate appearance bases are empty here with two men out two and one him up. Ersig is there. And the inning is over. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And next to hit is the catcher, Carlos Leal. 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now batter. The better fielder. Keon. To the plate now, Keon Broxton. High and deep to right center. Center fielder on the run. He makes the catch, a great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So one gone in the no inning here with a runner at two. first. And That's stepping into the box will be Luis Urias. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Now with the play, Bryce Terang. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Into the box, Stephen Wren. He's sent to lead us off in the sixth inning. The 1 1. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Rodriguez backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Now battle. Stepping up to the plate, Gray Kessinger. He flew out in his last at bat. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit to third, right to him. And quickly, there are two away. Standing in, Jeremy Pena. No hits to this point. Jeremy Pena. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Healy is under it to end the inning. of the sixth inning now and next it'll be the outfielder Yuan Hill Segovia 
the 2 1 home. Now a swing and a fly ball. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. That's the ball. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's Got wide for ball three. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3 2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Hard on the ground toward short. Reined in. Throw gets him. Two down. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. Two out, nobody on. Out in front here is this one scorched. Foul to the left. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway. And here comes the first baseman, Taylor Jones. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Ready on one and two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Into the box now, Jack Mayfield. He went down on strikes last time up. Now the 2 1. One out, nobody on. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Throw just does beat him to the bag, as that was pretty close. Next will be the designated hitter, Ronnie Dawson. He was a ground out victim last time up. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Digging in now, Corey Lee. Man at first after the two out walk. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ground ball to third. Fielded cleanly. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Joe Biagini gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Stepping in, Lucas Ersay. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. The one two is a fastball that misses. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. Wren is there and he has it for the out. Standing in, Ronnie Rodriguez. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Two one. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A ball that's carrying. But he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Now back. At the plate now, Carlos Leal. Hit on the ground out to short. Right to him. On to first, and there were two down. 
And that'll bring in the speedy Keon Broxton. Past history with Joe Biagini. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. With runners in scoring position this season, Broxton is below the Mendoza line. The batting average under 200, unfortunately. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware. Well, the first baseman is under it to make the play, and that retires the side. Leading off the inning, Chaz McCormick. And they'll need him to get something going here. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Alec McKenna. Heading out towards shallow right. Oh, and he misses it. Throw into second, and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Mike Morin comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Standing in now, Stephen Wren. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Morin was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Their count now at two and two. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. Hit in the air to shallow center. Terang ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Gray Kessinger. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Just hung in there on that one. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. At the ball. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. And he misses ball four, so now that potential time run scoots up 90 feet to third base. So stepping in, Jeremy Pena, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. This is swung on and missed a huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. The first base, Taylor Jones. Now a hard liner towards short, but this won't get by the shortstop as he's there to take it in for the third out. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and striding forward the designated hitter Luis Urias. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer and that's out number one. Now back to the top of the lineup stepping in Bryce Terang. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. He's set. Here comes the one one. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field. And you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. Stepping in now, Juan Hill Segovia. This is line to left. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. 
And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. The right fielder, number eight. Joseph Austin. So now to the plate, Joseph Austin swinging a ball in line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. The one two is laid off for ball two. Swinging a ball in line down in the left field corner. And that'll slice just foul at the last moment. Another 2 2 offering. I like what he was trying to do there with the two seam fastball, but that's a tough pitch to command. When you throw it glove side like that, it's really tough to get it to come back to the corner. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Here comes the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So a runner at second. Two down now. And in next, the first baseman slash D.H. Ryan Healy. The 1-1 is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North-south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in completely different from the east it's through let's see if they send him around to try to score and he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late into the box now Lucas Ersig and this one's up around the eyes two and one And he misses again, ball three. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Line drive, base hit. Carson LaRue trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. In now, Ronnie Rodriguez. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Hit on the ground toward the left. Scooped up, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. Jake Faria comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 36. At the plate, Jack Mayfield. No thump out of him in this game so far, as might be expected. He's 0 for 3. The 1-1 home is a sinker in the dirt. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. 2-1 pitch is a fastball swung on and missed 2-2. Two and two. Well, obviously, somebody was hooting with the Owls last night. This entire roster, they've showed up for the first game of this road trip and are getting absolutely boat raced. And another foul ball. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. These are the kind of A.B.'s regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Again, he sends it out of play. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. He'll try it again, three and two. Hey, five foul balls in a row, loving the battle in the box right here, making the pitcher work. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and this will make its way into center field for a base hit, and the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. The batter, the designated hitter, Ronnie 
Donk into the box. Ronnie Dawson. And he fouls this one off. Working for the punch out and the offering. Fouled away. The next one two pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. So digging in now, Corey Lee. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Runner at first here, one man out. 2 and 2. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. This is well struck, high and deep toward the left field corner. And that's off the left field wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now batter, the left fielder. At the plate now, Chaz McCormick. Outside, two and one. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. The next 3-2. Hit in the air out to center field. Broxton's under it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And they are on the board. It's a sack fly and an RBI to make this a 3-1 to one game now. Now with the plate, Alex McKenna. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Taking called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Now a swing, and he pops him up, and this should do it. He brings it in, and they have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Yeah, he does surrender one run, so it wasn't a flawless performance. But this game, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be good enough to win. He was. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. San Antonio took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Dylan File with his fourth win this season. Forrest Whitley is saddled with a loss after giving up only one earned. Jake Faria wraps it up for the save, his 22nd. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Klezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Our final line score, first for the victorious Murphy. Three runs on set hits. No error if they left six men on day. For the Express, one run, five hits, no error if they left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 44 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.